Hello everyone, welcome back to Game of Night. This is episode 3 of our little platformer series in Godot 4. And today we're going to draw an actual map with a tile set. Now this will have collisions and it will also just look a bit nicer than these floating platforms. Now things are going to look different. I am recording after recording episode 6, so we are way in the future over here. Um, that's just because I wanted to re-record episode 3. It was a little bit long. I said a few unnecessary things, so... Instead of just trying to edit it down and it being very choppy and lots of cuts, I just want to re-record it from scratch. So, don't worry about anything. Things are mostly the same for just the player. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. You just want to delete your platforms over here. So obviously yours will be static bodies with a child sprite with those other things. But just what whatever these are that you have, just delete them because you're not going to need them anymore. Um, also, you'll see my notice. My scene is called this weird name. It's just so I can actually press play. You need to actually save your scenes to press play on them. Uh, so in level one, you want to add a child node and select tile map. Cool. And on the right, you'll see it needs tile set resource. Now we're just going to click new tile set. Cool. And then we want to set up the layers beforehand, just because why not? So in here, I'm going to make a layer called background. That'll be for things in the background. And then we're going to make another layer for terrain. That'll be stuff like what the player walks on. And then another layer for decoration. That'll just be stuff like crates, flowers, trees, whatever. Whatever you want in front of the terrain. Cool. And then one more thing before we do anything is on this little tile set thing, just click on it. And now click on physics layers and add an element, right? This just means you can actually put physics on your tile set. Um, don't worry about too much. But here you can do everything you could do on your player's physics stuff. So if you've got a player on his, um, I think it's our area 2D collision. Yeah, it's the same stuff as this. So pretty nice. But that's all you have to know about that. It's just for physics and actual collisions. Cool. So now we can get into making our actual tile set. So in the episode 3 folder, if you did download it, whatever you have for your tile set, just drag in the PNG file over here. And then just hit yes, and it'll just automatically do that for you. Just select everything that is there and make, you know, a tile up. Now go into your tile map over here, this tab, and then you can actually use these. Now, I'm going to just show you as an example. You can just hold left click like so and drag over whatever you'd like to tile. And now you'll be able to see it like so. If you don't, you probably don't have your actual tile map selected. So just select it over here. So it has a nice little highlight. And over here, just make sure you have the actual pencil clicked and not the select tool, because otherwise you won't be able to draw and it'll just confuse you. So now if I just tap, I can draw things like so. If I hold down left click, I can also draw things as well, which is kind of nice. And if I select the line tool, it'll draw a line of the thing I'm trying to draw. And of course, if I hit the full tool, well, that's going to fill a big area. So I'm just going to control Z a bunch of times because that's not what we want. Um, but let's get into making an actual little terrain. So I'm going to show you how the game looks right now in episode 6. So I'll show you for a sec and just wait. So if you want to actually recreate it exactly like this so you can follow along with the next tutorials in the exact same way, you can. But that is not necessary. You can make whatever map you want. Whatever we add will be applicable in any map. Like these are just checkpoints. You can put that in any map design. Here are spikes that are going to damage you. You can put that on any map you want. There are platforms to jump on and jump through. You can put that on any map you want. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about exactly replicating this. You can make it however you'd like. Um, just do what works for you. Make your own cool little map. This is just a tiny little map to actually show things off. So make a nice little map and just have some fun. That's the key here. Just have fun and create something cool. So what you want to do is just make sure you select the terrain layer because you obviously are drawing terrain right now. So just click on this little window and click on terrain. And now just click on the top left corner because why not? And just click over there. And then just click on this one right here and then just hit draw. Cool. And then click on that corner. And of course, you get the picture. It's not too difficult. You're just drawing as if you're painting something. Just using whichever sprites you have and just go ahead and draw whatever you'd like to draw. It could be as complex, as cool, whatever you made, props to you, right? And then you can hit the full tool and then click on some random dark section and just fill in an area like so. 
Ooh, nice. But now we need collision. And how do we get collisions? Because right now the player would obviously just fall through this floor because there's no collision set up. Now, luckily, we did set up the collision, I mean, the physics layer over here. And we can go into tile set over here. And now if we select something, like let's select this top left corner right here. And we could scroll down. And there it is. There's the sprite. And now you can actually draw a collision shape on this. Now you can make whatever complex shape you like. But obviously if you want to go through the effort of actually going through and doing something like this. So corner, corner, and then oh, it goes a slant down like so. And then, you know, you can actually go down over here. And then oh, slant in again, slant out. You know, if you want to do some super accurate, complicated physics shape, you can. Um, there's not too much of a point to do that, but if you want your game to feel as smooth and accurate as you can, that's the right way to go. But I'm just going to hit Control Z, and then there's a keybind to just draw automatically, make a square around this, so it'll just fill in the whole tile. And that keybind is F. Oh, sorry. Nope. So, okay. You just select that and you click F. Cool. And F obviously just stands for full. So you're just filling in the collisions, and you can just hit F again. F, 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 F. You just, whatever you want to actually make collidable, just click on it and hit F, right? So just F, F, just F everything, right? F's all around, cool. And now if we hit play on the scene, you can see we can actually stand on this. Now, now you know exactly what you need to do to make your own cool little map. So I'm just going to do this for now. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll add one more thing just because why not? I'm gonna go on tile map and I'm gonna select I'm gonna select this whole thing. So this little cool thing right over here. I'm just gonna do something like that, like like that, like so. Cool. And then again, you go into tile set, you click on it, and you just hit F to fill in the collision. Just do that on everything. F F F. Cool. Hope I didn't miss one, but you know. That's also how you can set up secret levels easily. All you do is you just make a tile that doesn't have a collision shape, and then if the player runs against it, he'll just go inside. Now if you play again, and we go in, you can see it all works nicely. Cool. And that is basically the tutorial done. <laughs> so I hope you guys like how it looks. Um, and again, this is level 1 over here. That's how this looks. The game looks right now. Uh, after episode 6, I'm going to hit play and just show you. Just so you know how the map looks, so I have this map over here, you can jump down, and you'll die. Uh, I have some decoration right here, cool, and I pick up some coins. Uh, in the next episode, at the start of the episode, I just show off what I did, so I just made a, another tile set for decoration, and that all these things. So I have these cool checkpoints at work, coins to pick up, and there's a spike that kills you. Um, but yeah, currently working on adding some particles for jumping and all that cool stuff. So, yeah, hope you guys are excited for those episodes that are still coming out. And I will see you guys when we get there. So this video, all we did is show off how to make this little tile set. And I hope you guys make some cool creations with this knowledge and make a nice little map that's really satisfying. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.